Hello, Hello my fellow YouTubers. YouTubers. This is uh, Army Boy 80 and uh, I'm at my Storm Shield Defense 2 in Plankerton. Um, I wanted to be different and I know I used a lot of material for this build. Um, this is only the numbers 2. Um, a lot of this will be changing but this here it's pretty cool i i was just messing around and i was like you know that that might actually work pretty well i got attacked from the side before and just with the tires and the dinos and these uh two rows of ceiling traps nothing got close um but now i added ceiling fields just to give it a different look you can enclose that and um it helps it's kind of like a lobber shield um so you don't have to do like i have over there but um it's just something i'm tinkering around with uh if it works maybe you can use it in your build um i used all brick in this build uh the reason for it is because i know i'm going to be tearing like this home base down um because I use a lot of material. There's uh, timeout rooms right there. Um, they attacked from this side the last time, so all those were left over from the last time. Um, the amplifier I put up here was A. Some of this I couldn't actually uh, put traps on like I wanted. Um, I'm just gonna put another wall launcher. Um, and upgrade that during the fight. Uh, uh, kind of a timeout room here. Um, this one is. Then we got wall launchers with tire traps into like a little kill room, um, infinite loop room. Um, so they'll just either die or come back around and go to the amplifier. I did block off the entrance to the other way. It's only if they attack from that side. Got some more traps up here, so if they make it, which they shouldn't, because um, this is only number two, but I know they spawn back there some, so I figured I'll, I'll run some launchers or something along that, or just dinos along that wall when I can get past the shield. Um, it let me put all this stuff here, so it's kind of happy with that. Um, timeout rooms, like you see. Um, there's kind of a unique structure under, <laughs> like by this. It kind of looks like a UFO, but then I used it for the lava screen. I got out as far as I could. For now, um, I figure they're probably going to hit pretty hard this time, um, but aspect of this amplifier, a couple more launchers, to another little kill room, um, I left it kind of open just so they have easy way around. Um, I should have actually put a launcher on that one. Um, but I'm gonna leave it for now, and I'll change it later. Um, don't wanna bore you guys with all this, but this is the basic setup. Um, there's a, another gentleman in this game with me. Um, he's not gonna talk or nothing. Um, he's pretty high level, so he's just going to pretty much put his base down. He, he helped with the build because I couldn't do this all by myself. Um, but this over here on this first one, I did all this and then he kind of gave me some ideals and he, he did that little UFO thing and um, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this here is unique. I haven't seen this done yet. And uh, I think um, it looks pretty cool. 
the dinos, the wall launchers just to knock them back, to get hit by the dinos again and the ceiling traps. Um, it's just pretty, pretty nice. Um, this one here, because it's stretched out further, I did an angled roof. But like I said, you can enclose all that or you can even put a small wall and put your defender up there. So um, that's, that's where that's at. Uh, I didn't show you this. This is a little kill room if they spawn up on the top. Um, I did put a little bit of stuff up there, um, but I don't think that <laughs> anywhere they go, they're pretty much going to come in and die with these timeout rooms. These things work great. Um, the shield now is actually far enough back where I could could mess around with this a little bit up here, but um, I wasn't really able to the last time. Um, couldn't get to all of it, so this is the only part that was actually metal. And then um, just got a few different things here. And you can see where I couldn't actually put stuff. Um, but this, just a little extra damage. Um, and I think we'll throw darts. A little wall here in the middle with some dinos. We'll just keep it metal. Um, I wanted to check to see how well this would actually work on the back side. Because I know Caney, they have a lot of um, places where zombies fall. And if, if I could get away with doing something like that and not use like ceiling traps, that would be, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, but been doing a lot of building on it and I didn't want you guys have to struggle through it um, so and I think I could probably block this off let's see here do that change it around I like doing a little sandwich wall because it's less likely that they're gonna try to break it. Um, I don't know, I learned it a while back, so this is three wide. They'll come around the amplifier, and I figure I'd just kinda let them do what they want. Um, I was trying to get them just to fall straight down, which I'm gonna do here in a minute. I'm gonna let you see how that's actually going to work. Um, they might even try to come down this way. I don't know. I'm going to just run it and see. I think I'm pretty well set up. I'm not even going to put any more traps on this. Um, but I'm going to drop down here and let you see where I want them to fall. It's probably going to hurt me, but that's okay. See, this is where I want them to fall. Um, they might just take the long way around i don't know but that's kind of what i'm i'm thinking because they i don't know they're just i'm just playing around tinkering with things um but i'm going to go ahead and start this and uh we're going to get our bases down and he's got a bigger base so he's going to have his on the other other amplifier and I'm just I'm putting mine over here wherever they're gonna spawn so uh, I'm gonna just start it up and uh, we'll see where we're going now I do have this big pyramid and they're coming from the south and that's exactly why I put this little pad here Ooh, we got some flingers that's okay with me. I'm not too worried about the flingers. 
so not a big deal. Um, got the base. No way ain't that really doing anything there. Change it to the brick, but I wanted to actually get this trap tunnel, <laughs> not just make it look pretty. Because um, I wanted the traps to be able to go faster. Quit shooting at me. Just let me upgrade this and then I'm out of here. I'm going to go hang out somewhere else. Yeah, I've already uh, came to my structures. This one here, like I said, it's going to change. It's just going to be a normal box with uh, launchers on it. Because um, they're not going to be attacking it here soon. It might make that easier for those guys to get in there. Get rid of these plants. They're always good for gas traps. Um, I don't really see too much. I already, yeah, they're they're getting in here and they're dying pretty quick. Um, they're up there beating that up. You see that? Oh man! At least uh, that kept them busy. It just pretty much stopped them. Um, that's pretty funny because that'll be the next amplifier that I actually do. I just wanted to see how well that would work. Uh, from the south again? Okay. I don't want to see where they're spawning. This. Oh, they're at this other amplifier, so they're going to come to this trap tunnel this time. Let's uh, put this right here. See, the last time, the first time I ran it, I didn't have that one. So, um, they all were coming off of that mountain. So that's why these traps are up on the top. And that's why that other side got those traps. I didn't even have anything on them. It was spur of the moment. Um, I was showing a guy how to do traps and um, it didn't work as well as I thought because <laughs> I didn't cover all my bases but here this this will be covered oh they're going for that other one aren't they huh okay but they're not getting very far. See, I wonder if my base will work over here. If I can, yeah, okay. Get it in there a little bit. I'm actually shocked that they're coming out of the south. Um, it's kind of a shock to me. Um, I just wanted to. Oh, I hear a smasher. Sounds like he's already dead. close um, as you can tell this is how I like to play the game now if there's propane I wouldn't be here doing this I kind of glanced and um, I didn't see any propane so
pick up some material. And now this should expand this side out some, so that would be kind of cool um, to be able to actually use it. Let's see if we can put a ceiling trap in here. Because I kind of want uh, a little bit more power for in there. And I wonder if they're going to attack from the other side, maybe this side again. But you can see how powerful the bases are. From the north. Okay. Let's go over here to the north. And get this uh, base down. Now, like I said, I hope it lets me do an amplifier, a different one. What is it? Oh, this must have been from a flinger. He must have got over here. Um, not a big deal. There's probably propane in this one, so I'm going to go hang out at the back of this tunnel. And, uh... Just so we can see what's coming in. Oh yeah. Probably just cut these down like half the size for the next one. Because they're not even really getting in here. I just wanted to show what kind of trap tunnels. But see I can stand back here now and you can see how the, the, the traps, traps are actually working and you can see everything how it actually works um, if you're too close with propane they'll throw the propane at you we got lobbers I did not put a lobber screen over that way um, I have a, a pistol perk on them right now Too bad. Um, didn't really have to fire a shot or anything, so. Not too bad. Yeah, so that went pretty easy, um, other than the lava screen. Um, I'll be able to repair all that. Uh, not a big deal, but uh, Plank Storm Shield Defense 2 is done. 
I was kind of hoping they attack from the east where I put that little new design. I'll have to probably try it in a public match, or not a public, a private match, and just, I don't know, it'll be kind of fun. I, I figured it would be kind of fun. Um, but I'm going to conclude the video there. Thank you for watching, and uh, leave a like, and uh, subscribe, leave a comment, see, uh, give me some tips or things you might have learned. Um, just uh, help my channel grow. Thank you.